Alright, welcome back. So we're here with Raijin, the newest god. He is a Japanese mage. Uh, I'm recording this in the public test server, so just keep that in mind. Some things I talk about in this video could change. Uh, probably just base scaling, things like that. Uh, so let's get right into it. I first want to cover his abilities for any players that haven't seen gameplay of him, don't know how he works or how he looks, things like that. And then I go into my general opinions and possible builds for Raijin. Now, I'm not going to read all this, I'll put the patch notes in the description below, so that way you can check it out for yourself and read every last bit of detail. I'm going to summarize all these real quickly here. Starting with this passive, kind of familiar with other mages, uh, so you can fire basic attacks and or abilities, and that stacks up to four total charges, and then once you have all four charges, your next ability does additional damage. I think the scaling is 30% right now. I do have some magical power items, just the basics, and you can see how they kind of translate to additional damage. Now, a couple of things about this. As of right now, your basic attacks and abilities don't actually have to land on enemies for you to get the charge. Example, I have two charges right now, you can tell by the electrocuting uh, drums there. Fire some basic attacks, and then boom, I have all four. So, uh, let's say you don't have minions in your wave or anything about or around you, you can just throw basics at the wall or whatever, and you can get your charges that way. As well as, uh, right now, you get tons of charges from your abilities, so this is just really just free damage, which is pretty good. Uh, next is one. Uh, basically, you press one, one, two, three, and then you have, um, just basically just charges. It just fires in a line. Uh, the charges, like, as the electricity gets further on, it gets wider, uh, things like that. So you just use that just to clear your wave. And you can also use it in combination with your two, which is Raiju. Uh, Raiju is this little, uh, just like electricity orb just flying around me. Sometimes he's like a fox on the ground. Uh, but basically, you can uh, drop him on any target. It could be a minion or a god. Uh, first, it'll mark them, so uh, it'll, put, it'll put them on the minimap, kind of like a little ward, uh, kind of similar to Hui's Iron Crow, I believe it is. And next time you damage that target, um, Raiju will explode from their belly button and do uh, damage to that target and, and uh, damage his targets around them as well. So, I was kind of played around with that. Uh, you can maybe, he might be a potential jungler, I'm not sure. Uh, but the way it is right now, the scaling on Raiju is Absolutely ridiculous. So, let's go ahead and go to Robot. I know Robot's not a perfect example of a real situation. Um, he's level 20, but I don't think he has items. Jump him down, throw a basic, and half his HP is gone. I mean, I only have four items. Uh, what you can also do, you can drop your two on your target and then hit one, and then that's instantaneous just burst, just crazy amount of burst damage. So, um, next is his three, his th uh, Thunder Crash. All this really is. It's a huge ass circle. It does go through, uh, you know, walls, things like that. So it's a pretty nice leap for a mage to have to get away. It mezzes the target there, as you see the mez, and then you get teleported right to him. You can use this offensively or defensively. Uh, most people will probably be doing it offensively because it does provide a mez, a very soft CC, and uh, you know you can just really chase down targets. You can maybe go and attack speed, uh, rage and build haste, Vitalis, demonic grip, uh, spear of the magus, uh, things like that, and you could probably really chase somebody down. Uh, but yeah, let's go ahead and see that combo here with my two and one. It's a lot of damage. I didn't even get to fire my last ability there. And then finally, we have our Taku drums. So, uh, you press 4, you are CC immune, you fly up in the air, and then you notice on my action bar you have three new abilities. So he has a lot of abilities. Uh, beat 1, which is your 1, it takes places of your 1, it's just a flat 100% damage. Uh, and you have four total beats that you can use, so you can use 1, 2, 3, and then go back to 1, you can do something like that. Uh, beat 2, taunt and 50% damage. B3, fear, and 50% damage, and he gets charges each time he strikes a drum for a maximum of four charges. So, you get charges everywhere. Uh, the thing to note, uh, you can't say yes, this is a lot of CC if you go with all four beats on taunt or all four beats on fear, but there is diminishing returns, so it's not the total maximum amount uh, that you would normally get. So, uh, and his cooldowns, so check that out. Cooldowns are fairly lengthy, okay? I mean, you can maybe go some cooldown reduction, uh, not really too sure yet, but overall, uh, the way he feels is a very bursty mage. Uh, when I first played a match with him, he just he's a really big guy, so you're just kind of used to being like a warrior or a guardian. 
Another thing I was kind of concerned about is his hitbox must be ginormous, um, but the fact that his drums can clip through walls uh, means if you were to fire an auto attack at his drums, I don't think he'll take damage. I guess. I guess that's how that would work. Um, but yeah, overall, he's he's a lot of fun. It's it's really nice to see a guy that looks really different from everybody else. Uh, like Bakaster is really different. I mean, I was kind of tired of like humanoids, like your basics. Uh, so he's he's just a lot of fun, and he, you know, his voice package pretty cool as well. So that's uh, pretty much it as far as build wise. Uh, I'll say that for an actual build vi video, but I guess you can just go basic mage, you know, magi, doom orb. Uh, Spirit of Magus. Even though Spirit of Magus in this patch, it got changed a bit. The passive is no longer provides percentage reduction and flat uh, protection removal. It's just all flat magical protection removal by uh, 10 for 5 seconds, max stacks of 3. So no more percentage, but a lot more flat pins. So if you're fighting a mage, you're doing true damage with this one item, because uh, mage scalings, most of the mages, they just stay at 30 magical protections and it doesn't you know, increase per level. So it's still pretty okay. Um, he can still use it because his one does three, three things of damage, or actually four probably uh, with that last hit there. So he can still probably use it, especially with this two one combo. But yeah, I don't want to ramble on for too long. Overall, I feel like he could possibly be one of the top tier mages. It depends on uh, if he gets nerfed. Uh, he'll probably get nerfed on his ultimate and maybe his two and probably change the passive to where you can build stacks uh you know just firing at nothing because that's just it's just so free damage with this passive you just as net i don't know <laughs> but yeah thank you guys so much for watching hopefully it's helpful for people that don't have access to the pts or maybe you don't watch anybody else but yeah thanks peace